My name's Ed, I'm 22, and I've just ridden a unicycle around the world. Oh, I'm ecstatic. It's, it's just great to be surrounded by people, you know, familiar faces again, because it's been, a lot of this trip has been, you know, meet, I'd say meeting strangers, but strangers is quite a negative term, but just meeting, you know, people that I have, you know, friends that I haven't uh, met yet. But it's lovely to, to have, you know, pre-existing relationships with people here that I can, I can just, you know, chat to and catch up with. I don't think homesick, certainly lonely. There's been there's been yeah there's been parts on this trip where I have been by myself for, for days, um, but I've always been quite good at that, and I quite you know a lot of the time I do enjoy just being by myself, and that's a nice thing. Travelling in this way, I can kind of choose when I interact with people. If if I don't want to, then I can just ride and camp and ride and camp. If I want to engage a bit more with what's going on around me and the people that are living nearby, then I can knock on people's doors and say, hey, can I have some water? Can I you know, just chat to you for a few minutes? This kind of stuff. So I kind of, I have the choice, but generally I'm, you know, I like solitude. Oh, it's been great, especially in the, in the later stage of the trip, because obviously I've, I've achieved so much now. When I set off, you say, well, I, even when I was in, like, when I started in, like, in the UK three and a half years ago, I was telling people this is what I was going to do. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But now I can roll up to somewhere and I can say that I've already cycled 22,000 miles. So people are like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's yeah, very positive. But can you imagine what it would look like if I got on the back of my mum's car and she drove me home? No, I've, I've got a cycle. And I want to as well. I want to, yeah, I want to see what's changed and, yeah, see the lay of the land a bit because I'm sure stuff has changed after such a long time. Ha, ha, ha.